Hello everyone, Mike Bentley here, Carolina Crossroads RV Park, video number three. Today's video will be about retention ponds and detention ponds. What's the difference in the two and why do we need them? Okay, a detention pond is a detention pond is designed to manage stormwater runoff and it slowly gathers it into one spot and then after it gathers it in one spot it slowly manages the release of the storm stormwater runoff until the pond basin is completely dry so all the rain that you get in one time throughout your property is designed to take all that rain and put it into the detention pond and then, then that detention pond is designed to slowly release it gradually until that pond basin to the bottom of the pond is completely dry. Now a retention pond does the same thing, but it never releases the water. It keeps it there and it holds it there. So when you're looking at drawings, I see this word misused a lot. Engineers make this mistake and it's, it's pretty common so that's why i want to bring it up and tell you what the difference in the two is and why do you need a retention pond or a detention pond well just because of the definition the county wants you to manage all of your water on your property see when you come in and you take all the trees uproot the soil move it all to one spot you've got really a huge acres and acres of muddy area. And the county is real picky about that. They make you put silt fencing up. They have special inspectors, erosion inspections uh, on the property, inspectors doing inspection, erosion inspections on the property to make sure that your mud and your dirt, all of your muddy mess is not going onto your neighbor's property encroaching on them real picky about it but after all that's done with all your trees see those trees just soak up that water it's amazing how they stop the flow of water and really control it but once you remove all those trees obviously that's not happening anymore so we have come up with ponds and that pond usually is, you see a detention pond on most construction sites, on most commercial buildings, commercial applications, you mainly see a detention pond. And that pond, what it looks like is, it's a hole in the ground, it usually has a fence around it, and unfortunately it's most of the time mismanaged. It starts growing up, it has stuff coming out of it, and it's really an eyesore what you don't usually see is retention ponds and the reason why you don't see those is uh, quite a few reasons but two or three of the main ones is that retention ponds they're just they cost more to build they're designed a little bit differently um and they just call on the engineering side and on the construction the grading side they just cost more to build and then two uh, when you have a pond, you know, it's holding water and then that water's there permanently If you have a drought and you don't have a lot of water that year or like in South Carolina Five or six seven years ago. We had a major drought And it seemed like it didn't rain for two or three years where our all of our all of our um, Our reservoirs kind of dropped all of our lakes kind of dropped and you could tell that South Carolina was in a drought so if you had a retention pond at that time your pond probably would have dried up and you would have just had an eyesore there so that's the second reason the third reason is is insurance a lot of people don't think about insurance until the time comes but you really have to think about insurance really in the beginning of the project it's it's a big deal and it's a huge part of the project and it's a huge part of the yearly uh, expenses coming out of your out of your budget so you you really have to think about insurance and and most develop developers they don't want to pay that extra insurance to have a pond on the property that's a liability 
if somebody falls in, gets hurt, or if, God forbid, drowns. So that's the main reasons why you don't have retention ponds. Now, Carolina Crossroads is a little bit of a unicorn. We're going to have a retention pond because, so we, we want that pond to hold water. We're going to have a retention pond. And the reason being is, I really wanted the pond to be a feature, an amenity. For the folks staying here, I really love the water and it's very comforting and and soothing to me and I feel like a lot of people are that way especially in the camping world uh, people just 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 grow towards water and so that's one reason why I wanted a retention pond here we were already going to have the special insurance we just had to add just a little bit more to the policy which wasn't going to cost more money too much more money it's going to cost more but it wasn't quite as much more money but we was already going to have that type of policy because of the nature of the development what kind of development it is uh it's not a development where individual houses are being sold off and each one of those houses will have their own insurance this is a it's an rv park it's a development where people are coming in uh they're staying permanently they're leaving temper they're staying temporarily so it will have permanent sites and it will have transit sites but there are people coming and going all the time and the folks do not own the space i as the owner and the developer will own their, their spaces and they'll rent them from me whether it be monthly or weekly or daily whatever that agreement is and what the whatever the need is for the the consumer at the time so that means i have to have insurance to really carry um if anyone comes on the property and, and gets hurt and those sorts of things uh, you really want to be covered another thing that's kind of a unicorn for carolina crossroads and this particular piece of property is we have an underground spring here so if we're in a drought or anything like that um my pond's not going to dry up it's not it's not going to be an eyesore it's it's going to stay a pond all the time because this property used to be farmland and it was the same family that farmed it for years and years and years and the farmer that owned it he was extremely smart and it was amazing how he worked the land and really got the best use out of the land and utilized it and one way one of the ways he did that is he built a he found out where that underground spring was and he built uh, a small cattle pond, small cattle pond on the property, uh, to to for his for his livestock and everything. So he already had a small pond on the property. He had already found the spring, and we just took what the work he did and really um, made it bigger and um, used it for because the county was going to require me to have a pond anyway. So it was kind of a twofold for me. I was able to have my retention pond to meet all county codes and I was able to have my water feature, my amenity uh, for the people and for, for me that, that stay in here. So let me flip the camera around a little bit. I want to show you if I can. So my pond is really starting to take form and take shape. You see the water is in the pond now? Well, that's the spring popping up. And we're going to fight that water the whole time until this pond is, is finished, complete, and seeded. Uh, you see that metal, uh, metal, you see that concrete um, cylinder out there. That is my spillway. So if the pond is only able, the county only wants the pond to get so high, and then once it gets so high, the, the water will go over the top of that and go into, I don't know if you can see it really good, but my neighbor actually has a five acre pond behind me so my water is designed if it ever overflows it will spill over into his pond which is is fine we uh he knows about that the county knows about that and that's the way uh all the water is running to his pond no matter what anyway it's, it's the low spot of this area so i just wanted to let you know a little bit about retention ponds and detention ponds uh, why you need them because the county requires them to control your storm water and what's the difference in the two they really are costly 
one of the biggest line items you're going to have on your contract on your grading contract is your your pond they're quite a lot to build if you see this pipe this black pipe is popping through and there's another pipe not the concrete one on top of the hill but that other black pipe kind of in the pond there um, those pipes are actually going up through the property there are they're going underground and they're up near the tractors so we'll have manholes there so throughout the site throughout this whole 13 and a half acres we will have manholes there and uh, concrete boxes in the ground where all that water that's where you see a big um, grate on the ground where all the water you see that in the road a lot where all the water all your storm water is going to one spot where it's going into that big concrete box and then it's going underground through these plastic pipes and sometimes there's concrete pipes i have both here at carolina crossroads and all those pipes take the water gather it through that spot and then brings it to your pond um to just kind of control all your storm water runoff this video was uh educational to you that's what i i'm trying to do with these videos is really if you're interested in these types of things and um if i can help you any way on the through the way i would really enjoy and um I, i'm really wanting to do that that's what i'm trying to do with these videos is is really show you how a development is done especially when it comes to building the rv park and uh the do's and don'ts i'm sure i'm going to make some mistakes throughout the way this is my first development uh i have my first this type of development i built a uh I own a shopping center too that I, I built a few years ago for my heating and air company. So, and I have a few rentals in that. So it's my second development, but it's my first huge development like this, my first RV park. So uh, hopefully I won't mess up along the way, but if I do, I'm gonna post it, I'm gonna show it to you because at the end of the day, if I can stop you from messing up and uh, costing you money, that's that's my intention. So thank you very much.